Hi everyone, we're back with another video tutorial. Today we're going to go through a step up and I'm going to show you a few variations. A few variations to low block step up and a power step up. Before that, we're going to go through one of the most common mistakes people do when they do or perform the box step up. You can see, number one, this is a very good height. This is about 30 centimeters. People often start with a box that that's almost about hip height because you want to get as much hip range of motion as possible. But from here, we need to make sure that the box is not that high. I don't want to come above 90 degrees. Degrees because there's no force production there. There's very little force production here compared to down here when I'm, when I'm going to go vertical. So as people are stepping on a box that's way too high, they tend to drive through their back leg, but the box is too high, so they can't drive properly through their back leg, so they're going to start to arch their back and sort of hinge their way up in a very awkward kind of manner. So imagine the box being too high, I can't push up, so I'm going to pull myself up, almost falling onto the box with my leg. So avoid those. You want to step through your front leg and use your rear leg for stability as you're coming up and down. So I'm going to show you first on the low box. This is a very good starting point for the majority of people, especially when we're talking about improving knee health. Then you're not coming up over 90 degrees. 90 degrees improving or improving, increasing tension and so on. So you want to start close to the box. From here, place your whole foot on the box. You want to make sure that your heel is not outside of the box, it's on the box. From here, nice and tall, you're going to lift your leg slightly off the box. From here, step up. That, when I lift my leg and I press, and I push onto the box, that prevents that from happening. So I'm not pulling myself up, I'm stepping up. And you can increase the power as you go when you want to get used to the technique. From here, up. Both feet on the box, come back, squeeze your bum, control it down. Perform all the reps on one side before you go on the other side. Then, another variation is the power step up. You set up the exact same way. You're close to the box with your feet so you don't end up in a lunge stretch kind of position. Whole foot on the box. Now, your goal is to create as much power as you can vertically. So what you want to do now is stomp a lot harder. And as soon as your leg touches the box, you come straight up. But from here, I'm going to stop and I'm going to come up. And up. Add the barbell, add the kettlebells, the dumbbells, whatever it might be. And up. So I'm not using my back leg to push up. Simply all of my front leg and just bringing my rear leg up. And my whole foot is always on the box. I want to look straight ahead all the time. Control it down. Swap sides. Same thing. Super easy. Avoid those common mistakes of pulling yourself off onto the box. Don't be ego egoistic. Leave your ego at the door or in your car when you get to the gym. I'd rather see you start with a low box and work your way up. This is about 30 centimeters. If you're really powerful and you have good hip mobility and control, even though you're short as me, you might use a 40 centimeter box. But anything above that, unless you're very tall, won't suffice at all. It's just not necessary. So a 10, 15, or a 30 centimeter box will suffice more than enough. I'll chat to you next week.